In this lesson, we'll be creating a new setup for final machining. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to use Generate to rebuild toolpaths and create a new CAM setup for milling. Let's carry on with the file from the previous example, and if you had any difficulty, you can upload this supplied file, completing a multi-axis setup V7. From here, we've already created our soft jaw setup 1 and 2, we've created our stock prep, and then we've already taken a look at creating our multi-axis setup. At this point, the last step is to flip the part over and machine it in the soft jaws. So in order to do this, we need to create yet another setup. The first thing that I want to do is I want to expand multi-axis setup 2, and notice that we need to regenerate all of our toolpaths. But first, I want to go into Edit, and into Stock, and I want to take a look at the stock that's used from Solid. This is causing a problem because we made modifications to the original model that we used. In the original model, we simply selected the stock component. However, now there are two bodies in here, starting stock and ready to machine. So we need to deselect the stock solid and select ready to machine, then OK. Then use Control G to generate all the toolpaths again. So before we move on, we want to make sure that we take a look at the multi-axis setup. We're going to activate it, and we're going to simulate it. I'm going to jump all the way to the end and make sure that we've removed all the material. This is also a good reminder as to what material is left behind. You can see that we have the area that is still being held in the fixture. Then we have a small amount of material that we have left underneath that we need to finish off. Then of course we have the pocket. So now that we know what material is left, let's create a new setup, and the new setup is going to be using a few different bodies. So we're going to minimize this stock component, and now we have our soft jaw fixture. We can hide our fixture assembly, and we can rotate this around and take a look at the results. So now we're going to be using this setup for our last machining operation. And as a check, we can show the stock, we can expand it, and make sure that ready to machine is shown, so that way we have a good reference for the top face that needs to be machined. Keep in mind, however, the G54 location for our coordinate system is going to be based on that boss. So we will have to go back and forth hiding and showing the stock body at different times. I'm going to navigate to an isometric position here and simply move it to the center of my screen, then go to setup and create a new setup. We're going to be using milling, and the model that we're going to focus on is going to be our link. Then for the fixture, we're going to be using our soft jaw fixture. And we can determine whether or not we want to use the stock component as our stock, so that way we can actually see the material being removed, or if we simply want to say from solid and use this body as our stock. I'm going to increment the program number to be 10100. And now we have a new setup, in this case setup 5, but I'm going to call it link in softjaw. Now that it's been created, I'm going to go back and edit and make sure that my coordinate system is correct. I'm going to select my Z axis or plane and my X axis. In order to do this, I'm going to select the bottom of that hole and notice that the Z axis is correct. I need to flip my X and then I need to change the location. The location is going to be based on these box points. However, I can base it off of a selected point, a model origin, or a model box point. If we select model box point, then you'll notice that we're not getting any change on the screen. However, if we do selected point, we will be able to select the center of that boss. So now you can see that X and Y will be located at the center of that, and Z will be based on the top face of that plane. So now that my coordinate system is correct, I can say OK. Again, I can navigate back to this isometric view using my view cube, and then I can save my file before moving on to the next step. 